Alrighty. Um, hey, thanks for showing up again. Man, I am stoked. You know, last week was our first uh, episode. We had a couple hundred people. This week we have uh, several hundred more people. All right. So again, thanks for attending. Uh, we never thought this was going to be that popular. I never thought in my wildest dreams that labeling was going to be that popular. So a couple of housekeeping rules, you know, the marketing team and, and all those, they like that housekeeping stuff. Um, feel free to ask questions. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to run through the lineup uh, that you have uh, in front of you right now, I'll go through each one, some of the attributes and um, but I got Mr. Jamie Brookover online. Good morning, Jamie. Uh, Jamie is going to be answering your questions for you. I uh, want a, a special shout out to Mr. Craig Robinson. Craig Robinson, my national director. I owe it all to you, buddy. Thank you. Um, so anyway, again, uh, thank you. I am the labeling king. Um, Todd Erratic. Be careful how you pronounce that. So listen, I, I do appreciate you showing up. Uh, this is everything about labeling. Um, not the most exciting subject in the future or in, 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 in the world as far as uh, topics go, um, but it is a necessity. Um, we have some giveaways. Uh, stay on board for the full half hour. Now remember, this is a half an hour of your life that you'll never get back. So I hope that uh, you get something out of it. Uh, if you stay on board for the full half hour, I've got some printers to give away. I've got uh, um, some Sony headphones. All right, and in upcoming episodes, all right, I've got some more goodies. In fact, um, it basically whatever I can find in my garage is what I'm giving away. And most of it's pretty good, all right, um, but, but stay tuned. So let's get going with this. Um, we're going to talk about the machines today. We'll talk about tapes and other topics in future uh, episodes. Oh, I want to make sure everybody's doing all right out there. Make sure you wear your masks. I know I did the other day. I walked into our local grocery store with, with this guy, and uh, I got some weird looks, but you know what? A mask is a mask. So um, there's another ho housekeeping rule. So let's get going with the different types of, of uh, machines we have. Uh, we're going to start off with the PTE-110. This is kind of our introductory printer. And, and the reason why we have this is this. I think you guys recognize this. This is actually my personal machine when I used to work for a living. Um, I used to go out and label and I'd run into some of the big box stores and I'd buy this and I'd buy this and everything was manual and I, I gotta tell you, you know, it, it, it did the work, um, but it's very labor intensive for this. So what we did is, Riley came out with a PTE-110. The PTE-110 is essentially the same format only in the industrial version um, on that one I just showed you. Um, there's no hotkeys for printing face plates or cable wraps or uh, this one has it. This is a great tool bag printer, Johnny on the spot printer. Comes in a hard case kit. Um, now I can't mention our competition on here uh, for legal purposes. Good morning, legal. Um, <clears throat> so you know what I'll do is I'll, I'll talk around that a little bit. And most of you out there are familiar. I hope you're familiar with labeling. Um, but this guy right here uh, uses six double A's, excuse me, triple A's, comes in a hard case kit. Um, it's our least expensive of the lineup. Again, it's a Johnny on the spot, Mac work, move, add, change, work printer. Um, it has limitations of up to half an inch. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. This is a half inch label right here. All right. Um, it, it'll, it'll do the trick for a lot of things. All right, um, active electronics, passive electronics. Um, you know, so again, it, it, it's a great printer, but only up to half an inch tape. Um, it, it will do cable wraps, although it's really hard to see. In fact, I don't even know if I have that upside down because I can't see it, but it will do cable wraps as well, up to a half inch. It does have a QWERTY keyboard. Um, and again, a Johnny on the spot printer, if you will. So um, if any, of you out there or your customers uh, have one of those old type of printers I just showed. This is a great, great alternative because again, it's very industry specific with all of the hotkeys right here. Things like face plates and cable wraps and general labeling and flags, right, which are real popular uh, in our industry. 
So again, that's the PTE 110, all right? Um, we're gonna move one step up. And the, the next printer I'm gonna show you is the PTE 300, which also comes in a hard case kit, but now you get into a, a lithium ion battery. So you're not replacing um, or, or purchasing batteries for that particular printer. You can also put six double A's in it, um, but now, and this is the PTE 300, it does come in a hard case kit. You get a lithium ion battery, you get an AC adapter. Um, you get a larger screen, which is great for old parts like me. Can, can I say fart? Okay, it, it, it's great for old guys like me. Um, I could see it much clearer. It's got bigger keys, you know, for, for mitts like this. Uh, but now you move up into three quarter inch tape. All right, same tape. Uh, it's our laminated tape, but you now move into uh, three quarter inch or 18 millimeter, if you want to get technical about it, size tape. Um, you also move into the realm of heat shrink. You can use our heat shrink on this one. You cannot use the heat shrink on the PTE 110. Um, and again, we have heat shrink available up to 24 millimeter or one inch. In this case, it's 18 millimeter heat shrink. Uh, the difference being, if you can see, it's a much larger tape, much easier to see, all right? And even the cable wraps now are much easier to see. Let's see, I'll get it in the right way. So again, from a cable wrap perspective, it's much easier to see. And I don't know how well you can see that. It kind of looks like, doesn't look well on my end right there. Um, you have a couple more features and functions on this, like the ability to do patch panels, uh, the ability to serialize. Now you can serialize on the PTE 110, but I gotta be honest with you, it's tough to do a patch panel. So when you're doing patch panels, all right, for those of us in the datacom world or the IP world, all right, the ability to do a patch panel um, and basically have the ma machine do all the work for you. I mean, hell, I can remember using this machine in front of a, seven by 19 and typing in A01 space, 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 A02 space, 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 space. And, and <laughs> you, you get to that, the end of the six pack, or God forbid, you got 24 in a row old school. And if you're off a tick, that, that whole thing has been wasted. Your time has been wasted uh, and the material, all right? The consumable has been wasted. So the beautiful thing about this is that essentially, um, Whoops, hang on. Essentially, the machine will do the work for you. Speaking of patch panels, a couple of years ago, we came out with this. Um, and I know those out there who do lots of patch panels and face plates are going to understand my pain points. Again, I'm a former contractor, so I've, I've done all this stuff. And again, I used to work for a living. But we don't know what the port spacing is on patch panels. And good luck going online to that particular manufacturer and getting their port spacing. So it's still a guessing game. So what we include, starting with the PTE 300, is a patch panel ruler. You can go up to any manufacturer's patch panel, measure that port spacing within a hundredth of an inch, put the parameters in the machine, and it's going to spit out a perfect label every time. And you could be doing things like four packs, six packs, eight packs, old school 24 packs. It doesn't matter. This works on any manufacturer's patch panel. Base plates, there's another pain point. Um, you know, I, I lost a lot of time, a lot of money when I was a contractor on face plates because what we typically do is we'll you know, go to a workstation, um, take this out, type it in. It always spits off too much label. I don't care whose manufacturer that you're using, but it always spits off too much label. You take your snips out, you cut a little off the left, a little off the right to fit inside that little Desi window, all right? In the meantime, at the end of the night, somebody walks through and they vacuum up profits. It's exactly what they're doing because you're wasting tape. So what we include also on the bottom of this is a faceplate ruler, right? And again, you, you measure that, that DESI window, if you will. When you put the parameters in the machine, it's going to spit off a faceplate label that's exact every single time. So again, that's the PTE 300. It's sold in two formats. It's sold in a hard case kit uh, with the lithium ion battery, the AC adapter, and you get a tape. We also have one that's more or less a standalone, a proprietary without the case, without the lithium ion battery. Uh, your cost is less on, though, on that one, though, excuse me. 
we do it to compete with a certain manufacturer that sells a, a, a really popular printer um, and they sell it for under a hundred dollars. And I can say that because that's their advertised price everywhere. Um, so we did that really to compete with that. And what you get with this versus the one I was just talking about is a QWERTY keyboard. Um, they still have an ABC keyboard. And I go back to my flip phone days trying to uh, create a text off of a flip phone. It's, it's very labor intensive and you make a lot of mistakes. So we offer a lot of upgrades um, either way, whether you buy it in a hard case kit um, or as a standalone. That's a PTE 300. We do have a PTE 500 and I'm going to use this. I, I, I don't typically talk a whole lot about the PTE 500. Uh, mine's actually on loan right now. All right. Um, the PTE 500 is essentially this machine without two specific features, uh, without Wi-Fi, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, and without the half cut feature. And, and to me, that half cut feature is, is very, very important. Um, so let's, let's move on to the PTE 550, which is my number one seller. Um, and we'll talk a little teeny bit about our uh, collaboration with Fluke on this particular model. That's actually in, in a different web segment um, coming uh, up soon. But now with this one, what you get is you get 24 millimeter or one inch tape. And again, there's, there's a big difference, obviously, between what I showed you previously or this here. So you print off on a one inch tape. All right, now I can tell you that half cut feature is huge. On the PTE 300 and the PTE 110, just like our competition, it'll print off one label at a time and you have to peel the back off and that usually ends up on the floor or on your shirt. And sooner or later, you're gonna get a phone call because you didn't clean up the closet. But now watch what I'm doing here. I'm touching the adhesive as I'm peeling this off. Now, keep in mind, I've got no patience whatsoever. I won't even peel an orange. I, and I was hoping with age, I'd, I'd, I'd get a little bit of patience, but I don't have patience. All right. So to me, this is um, it's labor intensive. Uh, again, that's just my viewpoint. So what we do on the PTE 550W is you have the ability to either do everything manual with the serialization, tell the machine what your first first port is your first cable identifier, uh, tell the machine how many you want to do sequentially and, and the machines build the job for you. Now that's fantastic. But what if you have thousands of labels to do? The PTE 500 and the 550W have the ability to have a database imported into the printer to work off of that database, which means no more fat fingers, no more screw ups again, especially with you know, big mitts like this, right? So uh, the ability to do that off the PTE 500 and the 550W is absolutely huge. The best thing about it is on the PTE 550, the half cut feature, whether you're doing, you know, tons of patch panels like this, all right? Whether you're doing tons of cable wraps, you're gonna extract that information from the database, all right, into either a patch panel or flags or face plates or, or patch panels, right? And then what it'll do is, it'll actually print off a strip, just like this, all right? There's your sequential labeling going down. What I'll do at this point is I'm gonna stick this up, tack it to my seven by 19, my four post, my server cabinet, my wall mount, whatever the case may be, as I'm wrapping those cables. And the beautiful thing about this is that I can peel off the first label and stick that. We talked a little bit about this last week. I can peel off the second one and I can do that. I'm not waiting for the machines, all right? I'm not uh, having pieces of stuff all over the floor, all right? So the half cut feature is huge as far as I'm concerned, um, even, even more so than the Wi-Fi. Now I mentioned Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi on the 550W is, uh, Ouch. Uh, it's the way that you can get the database into the unit, right? We, again, we touched about that a little bit last week. But imagine me sitting in the office and I'm going to do an Excel spreadsheet, several thousand labels, all right? I've got a tech out in the field. Um, I'm going to send that tech, uh, that attachment 
That tech then takes that attachment and he connects his phone. When I say Wi-Fi, it's got nothing to do with the internet, right? It is the connection between the Android or iOS smart device and this machine. But essentially it's the throughput to get that database into this machine. So as I connect my smart device, I can transfer that Excel database into this machine. Thousands of labels. It's a smart searchable database. So let's say I'm on the first floor work and all of a sudden I get called up to the third floor. I can go ahead and instead of rifling through pre-printed options, you know, uh, uh, um, um, label sheets, if you will, all right? It's still very popular, self-laminated label sheets, right? Moves like a cat. Um, instead of rifling through those, I can actually search this database, right? And pull from the database. So that makes it very easy, very simple, and again, a lot less labor intensive, right, if you will. Um, so you, there's also apps with that Wi-Fi, right? Uh, the apps with the Wi-Fi, um, most of the stuff that you can do on the machine is I sit here doing onesie twosies and stuff like that. We do have an app that you can actually do the work on the app, hit a print button on the app, and then it's going to print to the machine. And that comes in a later episode also. We'll talk about the different apps as well. The PTE 500, the way you have to get a database into the PTE 500 is you have to physically connect it via USB and dump that database uh, from a PC, all right, um, or a laptop, if you will. Uh, the other thing that we can do with this is that we can print off custom labels, all right? I'm a big fan of service tags. You know, if, if I have a company out there, I want to advertise that company anywhere I go. So the last thing you do, let's say, uh, before you leave that closet, is you print off a custom label. And I don't know, that may be tough to see. Um, here's another one that I did for one of my customers. But things like QR codes and, and putting on, um, you know, your company's logo. And I mean, there's all sorts of things that you can do with this machine. Um, everything I've shown so far comes in a hard case kit. It has a lithium ion battery. Um, it has an AC adapter. Uh, Sam, I see you out there. Knock it off. <laughs> um, and, and again, uh, the other thing I want to stress is two-year warranty, two-year exchange warranty. Now, some of my competition out there doesn't have the type of warranty we have. We want these machines working out in the field um, at all times. All right. So if you have a problem with the machine, we have a two-year exchange warranty. It's one of the healthiest warranties in the industry. Um, and, and again, it's applicable on everything I'm showing you today. How are we doing on time? All right, not bad. Desktops, I'm gonna roll through these desktops. Um, this is the PTP750WVP. God, I hope I got that right. Essentially, this particular desktop unit is the same thing as the PTE 550W without the keyboard. So you can connect it via apps. You can print from the apps, all right? Um, you can tether it to a computer. Uh, it will print up to 24 millimeter. It's 180 by 180 DPI, all right? Very legible, um, does not come in a hard case kit, does come with a lithium ion battery. So in a sense, it's our starter, if you will, portable desktop, all right? Um, great for manufacturing, great for data centers, um, great if you want to use our apps out in the field, if, if you're more comfortable with the apps. But the, the way I try and pitch this machine, it's the PTE 550 uh, without the, the keyboard and the screen and so forth and whatnot. It goes up to 24 millimeter. I think I already mentioned that as well. Um, we'll do the heat shrink. All right. So again, very, very, very similar to that. Um, similar in price as well. I'm, I'm not really going to talk about price because um, I really can't. But uh, my suggestion is, and I'm going to say this uh, early and often, uh, check with your local distributor. Um, they, they, they have all this, including the tapes, and I'm sure they'd be more than happy to, to quote you on this as well. So let's move up to our 36 millimeter or inch and a half desktop and and a couple of features on this is that this one will print at 360 by 360 dpi again these are 180 by 180 dpi i physically can't tell the difference 
even with these. I physically can't tell the difference between the two. Um, but you now have the ability to move up beyond the 24 uh, millimeter or one inch tape into the inch and a half realm. Um, and I'm going to show you examples, some, some examples of what we did recently uh, due to current, uh, the current environment, I should say. Um, <clears throat> this also has a battery. Um, it can be connected to a PC to print directly from a PC. Uh, you can use the apps on this one uh, using our HGE tape. And, uh, and again, that's in a different episode. It actually will print uh, faster than some of these other printers. Great for data centers, great for custom cable assembly houses, great for uh, panel manufacturers, all right? Um, so again, uh, this is our PTP 900 series, all right? Keep that in mind if you will. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, it, it does not have a screen, all right? So either tether it up to a PC um, or use the apps on this. Uh, there is some memory on there, um, so you can include uh, a database um, on some of the models here. Um, half cut features. Let me let me digress. We started with a half cut feature where I was peeling off that strip earlier. This one and everything else I'm going to show you does have the half cut feature as well. And again, that is a huge feature as far as I'm concerned. Um, let me get these out of the way real quick because I'm going to show you one of our most popular sellers which is the PTE-800W. Um, I, at first, was kind of skeptical about this. When it first came out, they said, hey, do you think you can sell that? And I basically said, no, not really. Um, it, it, it is starting to sell quite well. So now what you do is you take all the attributes of the PTE-550, right, with the PTP-900. I hope I said that right. Um, you're up to the 36 millimeter range, right? You got the higher resolution printing. You have the half cut feature. It is Wi-Fi capable. You can dump a database in this as well. Um, but the beauty of it is, is that number one, we call it our lunchbox. I still don't get it. I, I really don't get it. Um, to me, it's just the, the storage box, but whatever. Um, you can store tapes inside here, right? Let me tilt this just a little bit. So as you can see, we have our engine compartment. And then you can store tapes or uh, whatever else you want to store in there, right? Um, but now we have, whoop, now we have this feature. The first ever full-size removable detachable keyboard. So again, it, it combines everything with a 550 with a PTP series. Um, and you have it all in one. It's a first ever portable desktop. Uh, my competition uh, has desktops right now that, that have to stay plugged into AC and they have to stay plugged into a computer. And you can imagine there's a lot of wasted time going between point A to point B to pick up those labels and away you go. With this one, again, being the lithium ion battery that it has is completely portable. And when you want to move it from point A to point B, the keyboard simply locks in place like so. You take it over to point B, right? Now the keyboard stays attached. You can still access your tapes while you access the keyboard on top there, right? So I'm in love with this. I, I, I really love this machine. Um, again, great for data centers, great for panel shops, great for custom cable assemblies, uh, great for load centers. Um, but um, and you know what? Pricing, how do I go around this? It's it's a lot less. So price-wise, our competition, boy, grande. brother, un poquito, all right? So there, I think I can mention that, all right? Um, you will see a difference in uh, the, the pricing structures uh, between brother and the other brands out there. Um, so again, take advantage of your local distributor and um, get a quote on these. So Dan Cobb, uh, shout out to Dan Cobb. In fact, we were gonna, use, Dan wrote me a song, all right? His wife got all bent out of shape because Dan wrote me a song and didn't write his wife a song. He's never written his wife a song. Uh, we're gonna play his music next week. Um, it's gotta go through legal, all 
Okay. Um, but here's something that Dan did. Um, this is pretty darn cool. All right. This is made with either the PTE 800 or the PTP 900 series. All right. Pretty darn cool. All right. Now, not a lot of people realize that brother does things like that, custom labels and you name it. We can help you with any of your labeling needs. If you have a custom label, reach out to any of us. And by the way, at the end of this, which I've got about five minutes, we're gonna bring up a list of uh, who to contact uh, in your respective area out there. So I think things like this are just incredibly cool. You know, we can do the patch panels and the face plates and the flags and everything else. The electrical panel schedules, by the way, we do those very well. Um, the electrical panel schedule for you know, all these sparkies out there. Um, so anyway, very, very cool stuff. Um, we do this every Thursday at 10 a.m. Right? I get up around 9.30 or so and come out here and do this. Um, I hope you all come back. I hope you have some questions for Jamie uh, in the background. Um, I hope you like this series. Um, we will be giving away stuff every week, like I mentioned. Um, this week, again, it's, it's a Sony headphones. Um, we've got some printers for you uh, in the future. Uh, we've got some Fluke products and Fluke tools available. Um, and then whatever else I can find in my garage. Um, so with that being said, um, here's the schedule, all right, for the upcoming next week. What am I talking about? I am talking about, what am I talking about next week? Oh, the tapes. Tapes. I'm talking about tapes next week. Tapes are actually very, very important. Um, you know, you, you want the, it's a one and done. You want to go out there with a the tape. You want to do it one time. And the only time you ever want to go back is if you're paid to do it. Not, not if you have to replace stuff that's falling off or so forth and whatnot. Um, so again, we're going to be talking about different tapes, different attributes. Um, I'm going to show you some pretty cool things on my workbench behind me. Uh, basically back up my BS, if you will. Um, I, I sincerely hope you've all been uh, BSified, and I, I do want to make a legal disclaimer. Uh, BS in this case uh, stands for Brother Solutions. All right? I didn't forget that in the beginning, but I want to make sure I don't get dipped in the, the end because those who know me know a different type of BS. Uh, but I hope you've all been BSified, if you will. Um, we're going to show uh, on the screen how to contact uh, either Myself, you can reach out to me at any time. We've got Jamie Brookover uh, in Virginia. We got uh, Dan Cobb somewhere up in uh, Wisconsin. Mr. Bruce Page is in uh, Marble Mouth, uh, wherever he is. Uh, Rob Dawkins is uh, out of North Carolina. And Craig Robinson is actually in Florida. So uh, here is your brother team. Um, I appreciate each and every